Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another video. In this video, we're talking about Valor and all things Valor. We're going to talk about where to farm it, how to farm it efficiently, where to get it, spend it, all that good stuff. So let's get into it. First thing I talk about is how to get Valor. You currently have a cap of 5,000 Valor on the live servers. This goes up 750 each week. You can get 135 per Mythic Plus you do. This is the same if you do a Mythic 2, to a Mythic 15, to a Mythic 20. You'll always get 135. So if you want to farm it, best place to farm it is in Mythic 2s, 3s at the moment, where you only have one affix to worry about. The second place you can get it is from Callings. Now, you can't farm these as such, but they're still a nice little source of, of kind of reliable Valor. You get 35 Valor for a regular Calling, the one that awards a blue chest. And you get 50 valor for awarding uh, from, from the ones that award a purple chest all in all mythic plus is definitely the way if you want to farm it if you just want it to tick over the callings are quite nice let's talk about what you can spend it on and all that good stuff as well then so there's a little bit of information that's just popped up on the screen i'm going to go through through things one by one here so the first thing we talk about is the achievements needed to upgrade now you need the explorer conqueror and master uh, master achievements to upgrade it uh, appropriately explorer is for 207 item level upgrades this is rank 8 conqueror is for 213 which is rank 10 master is for 220 which is rank 12 to put these in perspective explorer is for all plus five times conqueror is for all plus tens times master is for all 15s times now Ultimately, the advice I give is going to be aimed at people who have Keystone Master or aiming to get it in the next couple of weeks because I think that's the most efficient upgrades. If you don't have that, I'm going to be putting out a video on how to achieve Keystone Master and what you need to be looking for to go and get it for yourself. If that's something you're interested in, please chuck a like and subscribe on the channel. It'll be very helpful and it'll definitely tell me that you're interested in learning about this. So let's talk about upgrades. You can upgrade a mythic piece a total of 11 times to from mythic 1 to mythic 12 uh, or mythic upgrade 12 i should say now mythic zeros so as if you go into a normal miss mythic run you don't put a key and you finish the dungeon you will be awarded with a 184 eye level piece 183 eye level piece one of the two you can upgrade that all the way to 220 but it will cost you a lot to upgrade 11 times would cost you a minimum of 2750 valor it's not to say you can't do it it's to say it's very inefficient to do it so there's a couple of pieces and a couple of item levels and mythic dungeons that are very efficient to run in my opinion so we're going to talk about trinkets first the reason I think trinkets is because trinkets in mythic pluses are typically so much better than the trinkets in raid at the moment um, very consistently, people are running things like IQD, Blood Shattered Scale, Unbound Changeling, all these good trinkets. They all come from Mythic Plus. So you're going to want to upgrade them. If I was to be farming them at the moment, now it's important to say all of the achievements you need to upgrade are account bound, which means if you go and earn it on your main, you can upgrade to, if you go and earn Keystone Master on your main, you can upgrade to Keystone Master Iron Level, which is 220 on your alts. So you only need to achieve it once, which is nice. So let's look at this table that we've got here. This is from Icy Veins. All this information can be found between MMO Champion, Wowhead, and Icy Veins. Uh, but let's look at this table. Anything below a, or a Mythic 9 or below would require at least six upgrades. Now, if we use a trinket, for example, you're talking 2,400 Valor just to upgrade one piece to max item level. This means that you, with your 5,000 Valor catch-up mechanic, you could still only upgrade two trinkets and you'd be pretty much done. Now, that's great if you only need one or two pieces, but if you're gearing up an ult like I am currently with my warrior, you don't want to use all your Valor that quickly. So I would look towards Mythic 12s. Mythic 12s offer a 207 item level piece at the end of a dungeon. That only requires four upgrades to then get it to max item level. It's a 13 item level upgrade. It's still quite a substantial boost to your item level if you do that a couple of times. But they're much easier to farm than 15s. And they're not too much harder to farm than 9s to get your 200 item levels. It's a good balance. Now, 
it's still going to cost you a fair bit. I mean, four upgrades is still going to cost you 1,600 Valor, but you could do that twice and still have sort of 1,800 Valor left over to do other stuff, which is nice. If you go and farm 15s, obviously that is the most efficient method, is to farm a Mythic 15 constantly, get your 210 pieces, upgrade it three times, bada bing, bada boom, you've got a 220 piece. And it's only cost you... For a trinket, 1,200 Valor. For a shield, it's only going to cost you 750 Valor, which is great. Now, the other thing to mention is you can also upgrade weekly rewards from your great cash. If you've done low-level mythics, especially early expansion, and you've had nice pieces, you can upgrade them from whatever item level they are to 220. Still with the same achievements, the same methods. Um... You can't do ones that have come previously. So if you're currently doing ones, you're doing running on your alt, and you go and get a Mythic 9 done, as an example. You get a 216 piece, and it's your great piece. You want to upgrade it. You can now upgrade that to 220, and it'll only cost you kind of one round of Valor, which is nice. So I think on my alts, I'm going to be looking to do at least a Mythic 8 every week now, because it's the uh, if I can't do a 10, 8s are very easy, because you don't have to worry about pride. You can just go in, and if it's a good item for you, you can then just chuck 250 Valor, 400 Valor, whatever, and it's upgraded to a good piece. You can obviously do 10s or 14s or whatever if you want to be more efficient. Uh, but we're talking about kind of the easiest solutions to these problems. Me, personally, I would be looking at doing at least 10s, if not 12s, and if not, if you can do 15s, obviously that's the most efficient one. Now let's move on to where to upgrade these pieces. You can upgrade these pieces at a number of different upgrade vendors. The one that I typically use is this one in Ouroboros. To give you some perspective of the map, that is where Bolvar stands. This is the PvP corner here. You can upgrade this piece here. So as you see, I've got a 190 eye level legs that I got from a run earlier. I put this in and for 475 Valor, he would let me upgrade it for item levels. You can also do this in your Covenant Hall. If you go to the vendor that's typically stood next to the guy that sells you all your Covenant armor, he will be able to upgrade it as well, which is really, really nice. So guys, I think that's all the information that you really need to know what you need to know about Valor. If there's any other questions you have, please leave them as comments below. Other than that, I hope this has helped. I hope you get some good loot from Valor and uh, some nice upgrades and other than that thank you for watching like i said there'll be a video coming soon around keystone master and how best to achieve it other than that thank you and catch you later goodbye guys